In this video, I'm going to show you how to loot Blitz out of Nickel 3-3. Now, Nickel 3-3 was patched. At least that's what they told us. We're going to show you, in my opinion, the best way to loot Blitz right now out of this formation. It is still certainly possible, uh, and there are some key things that you need to do in order to make that effective. Now, if you want to get my entire Nickel 3-3 ebook, we're going to be updating it uh, over the course of the next couple of days with the new way to run 3-3 at a super high level. That link is down in the description. If you want to become a Patreon member, you get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including all of the updates that come with that. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're in the 4 6 playbook, 3 3 normal uh, or 3 3, nickel 3 3. We're going to be coming out in it. We want our auto flip to be off. That is super, super important for running this defense. You want your auto flip to be off. Um, then, zone drops, you can do whatever you want. And we're going to be coming out in the play Nickel Blitz 0 or Tampa 2. If you want to run zone, um, actually, I'll show you how to Tampa 2. I think it's better out of Tampa 2. So uh, Tampa 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to press. We are going to spread our defensive line. You don't have to actually do that here. Uh, with some formations, you do. We're going to shift our linebackers. Uh, we're, we're going to uh, blitz this right of screen linebacker, shift the line or shift the linebackers to the right. As you see there, we need to base the line. You don't have to do that. And then you're going to just slide that guy in a step or two so that he's on a contain. And then re-crash your defensive line down. So as you can see here, super, super effective little blitz concept. And then you can do whatever you want with your coverage behind it. But what you're going to notice here is we're going to get, not only we're going to get edge pressure off of one edge, but we're going to create this looping concept uh, off of another edge. So uh, what you're going to see here, again, shift your linebackers to the right. You're going to manually blitz this guy right here. So just slide him in a step. You just have to move him one step. He will be on a contain, and then you will be able to loop and send edge pressure at the quarterback. Now, I'm going to make a couple of substitutions defensively. Uh, we're going to put LT in there as our looper. I do believe LT is probably the best um, that I've seen. He's just the most consistent. And then also, the other thing I was going to say is as you're playing this or as you're running this defense, you don't have to blitz off of the edge every single time. You can just run the loop blitz. You don't have to run, um, you don't have to run that slot corner blitz to make this effective. So, for example, if we're in this, right, and we want to run this, this concept, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this guy on the back side and put him in whatever zone that we want. And now we can just run the four-man version of the blitz, and a lot of times you're going to get LT through uh, off of the edge on that side as well. So another thing is you can, if you want to have auto flip on, um, if you really want to do that, you can do that. Uh, you'll see here, same basic uh, principle. You're just going to slide this guy in a step or two. Now, the big problem is what it does over here, specifically to bunch. You might want to slide this guy in a step or two. And now you have kind of that double loop concept um, that is created just by those little baby manually moving of players. And you can see right here, super, super effective. Like, I think this is really good. Um, so I'm going to show it to you with auto flip off real quick one more time, just what it looks like to come out. And then we'll show it to you against tight as well, because you could run this against the meta formations. Um, you have to be able to stop the meta in this year's game. And the meta is tight and bunch. Those are the two main metas. Now you can apply this to other things as well though so uh, let's show it to you one more time here so again you're just going to slide these guys in off of the edge i like to go ahead and crash my line down too uh, but you don't have to do that and then what you want to do here is you want to just kind of click over so that you're on this guy so as you see relatively simple setup um, but the pressure is insane as you can see right there double looping off of that edge and you can run it with auto flip on or off it's up to you i do typically like auto flip off because it's a faster setup um but that's you know up to you now if they're playing if they're coming out in gun tight um you can run the same defense so tampa 2 we're gonna shift opposite blitz that linebacker we're gonna slide him in just separate two now against tight um, you can slide this guy in if you want to, but notice that you can also just leave him out here. So we're just going to leave him out here. And now what you should see is that same basic principle where we have the loop on one side and then we have the edge pressure on the opposite side. So same basic principle as you can see, and we're able to get pretty decent pressure uh, at the quarterback. The other thing I want to quickly point out is that if you run this and let's say they block the running back on you, uh, so like right here, they're going to block this running back on 
uh, this this right side to try to pick the pressure up. Oftentimes, the pressure still comes even if they block a running back. So you see here, pressure off that left edge is still screaming in even though they blocked their running back in that example. So these are some real keys, I think, to running uh, the double loop defense specifically uh, against tight this year. You just need to move that guy just a step or two inside, and then you're going to get the edge rush that you want. Uh, you're not going to get it 100% of the time. They did definitely patch in terms of like how consistent it is. Um, but by and large, it's pretty consistent. It just, again, you've got to tinker a little bit with the placement and where you stand and all that fun stuff. But if you can figure that out, um, this is probably still the best defense in the game. As you can see right there, super clean, double pressure at the quarterback. And you can do it from man. You can do it from zone. That's how you do the 3-3 uh, loop as of as of uh, February of 2023 post patch. Uh, so we'll see if they change anything on that. But if you want to learn my entire defense on this and my entire system and adjustments and coverage defenses and run defenses and everything that you need um, and optimizing the blitz a little bit more as well, make sure that you're in the Patreon. We released a massive update to all of our blitzes, blitzes and defensive ebooks this week, and we're dropping more and new defenses later this week as well. So make sure you're in the Patreon. $10 will get you access to everything in the Patreon, all of our ebooks, all of the updates. So head on down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.